Uh, now, who doesn't love coffee? Well, in Australia, 88% of us uh, say we like coffee, yet three quarters of all coffee consumer is instant coffee. Really? Yeah, like myself. <laughs> and just the 12%. She makes up the whole 12%. Uh, thank goodness there's a guy here who wants to help you transition from instant coffee to the next level and beyond. Welcome, Jeff Quattromani. Yes. Jeff, um, are you a big coffee drinker? Yeah, a lot. Um, maybe two double espressos at least a day. It's um, just to oh, keep well. it running, keep the, keep the engine going. Do you know, I think this is great. Uh, like, loads of people drink coffee, but it's just too expensive. It can be expensive. Right. Um, to go to the coffee shop and buy it all the time. Oh, so, yeah. That's for starters. I mean, it can cost you 4 or $5 for a cup of coffee at a cafe. Mm. But Nespresso, for example, they've been around for a little while now. This is their latest. It's called the Virtuo Pop. Nice little pop of colour. It couldn't be simpler, though. The, the pods that they now sell have barcodes on them. So you buy the pod that actually suits the coffee style that you have. So an espresso pod or a lungo pod. You put that in, it reads the barcode and it makes the right size coffee for the capsule immediately. Wow. Oh, you don't wow. have to choose whether it's a large or a small, you just press go. It couldn't okay. be simple, that one. At 229 bucks. So 229. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good start. How much are the pods? It's that, that look, 70 cents to a buck fifty, depending on what kind of flavour, specialty and things like that. So oh. yeah, but usually about 70 cents. Okay. Oh. All right. And what about this little baby? Steps it up a little bit. So yeah. morning actually worked with roasters to, you know, say Oh beans. Real beans. And they said, how about we work with you to say that if we put an all-press pod inside the machine, it is a coffee that you want it to taste like. So all of the settings and things like that come with the capsule. So, you know, using an app on your phone, you'll say, I'm now using all-press or I'm now using campus or whatever it is. And then suddenly it makes it the right way for the roaster intentions. Right. So it, takes, it takes capsule coffee a little bit more fancy. So a little bit barista style in a capsule machine. Right, um, right. Oh, speaking about baristas, uh, you oh, have how much is that coffee? one yeah. first? You're looking at five fifty nine for something okay. like that, yeah. Ooh. So it steps up a little bit. Look at this fancy pants yeah. baby. Do you have then. to own a coffee shop to have one of these? You don't. You may, you may stop visiting your barista if you have one of these, though. I right. Mean, I have a very similar machine to this at my place. This is a newer model. It's called the DeLonghi Arte Evo. Now, the reason it's got the little twist on the end, it can now do cold brew as well. So there's no apps, there's no Bluetooth like the other ones have. This one is a traditional coffee machine, but it's actually fairly simple to use. If I can figure it out, most people Sorry, can. Sorry, what does cold brew mean? So cold brew is effectively extracting the coffee without using hot water. Most people use a drip system and it can take mm. 24 hours. Oh, yeah. This will take five minutes to Ooh. actually do that. So I don't, in the warmer months, you put it in a glass of ice underneath, start your cold brew, walk away, beautiful iced coffee after. Do you still Ooh. need... Do you, do you need more time? In the morning, if it, like if you're going to go as far as getting a commercial grade coffee machine, you're, like yep. I, I can get these, throw them in, boom, 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 you're out the door. Spot on. Is that what you need with these ones? You need about two minutes to make a proper espresso out of this, and it really, you know, as you get good at it, you get faster at it. And if you're making it for somebody else as well, doing two at the same time, it's pretty simple. But how do you do it without a man bun? Or without, Sorry, or just without all the bristles or anything like that. It is, it is a strange experience, but yeah, you do get used to it. It's pretty easy to do. Well, the for something like, like this one's this one's discounted at the moment at seven nine nine. But you're looking normally around you know close to a thousand dollars for something like this one. But that's not pods. What do you put in that? Real beans. Just real, real beans. beans, and then you can play around with different bean flavors. It's a lot of fun. Are beans easy? Beans means hi. Yeah, no, this is a silly question because I don't. Are beans handy enough to get? Are, 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 like, are they, are they as, as cost effective as pods? It actually works out cheaper in the long run to use okay. beans. The cost of the machine, however, is usually higher. So yeah, you have to really like your coffee to make that bean thing pay off. Speaking of which, this looks like a Rolls Royce. This yeah. is the Rolls Royce of coffee machines. It's from Eura. It's called the J8. And yes, J8. not everyone will be out to buy this one. This is for those who absolutely love their coffee and love specialty coffees. If you coffee like, snob. If you like a caramel syrup latte, oh. quarter strength and all these fancy things, that's where this will start to come in. Touch of a button and it will produce anything that you really need. 31 different specialties built into this. So mm. as long as you've got the machine, any order that people come up with at your place, you'll be able to do it. So does that wow. make the frothy milk too? It will froth the milk. It will pour the coffee. It will give you the syrup addition as well. Um, it will even change the strength depending on your, on your you know, flavour preferences. It really does Is it do easy it all. to clean? It kind of cleans itself. When you cleans turn it off, itself. it automatically rinses. Jeez, it drinks itself. Oh, and then you're just ready for the next coffee. So the right, milk show attachment, us how it does. Milk show attachment also keeps your milk cold. So you don't have to take the jug and put it back in the fridge. That will actually just sit there Amazing. and it's always ready to go. Okay, so show us. I don't know how much you guys love your coffees. So um, picture, picture Jeff's got a man bun and he's a barista. <laughs> Look, this will be hopefully a simple one to do. 
wine glass. Yeah, why are you putting it in these, a wine glass? These are coffee tasting glasses, what? guys. Oh, these... is that where we are in life? We are. Th oh. These are from these are from Rydell, and they are the kind oh, of glasses. Rydell's a fancy oh. glass. Maker. It's the kind of glass you're meant to have to properly appreciate the aromas is that and right? the taste. Yeah, they actually exist, which is but kind of crazy. But don't you burn your fingers? No, you hold the stem like you do a wine glass. Oh, okay. Because we're classy and we're classy. And that's what we do. <laughs> you haven't met us. Is there not a question we're not asking here, Jeff? What else should you know your stuff? What, what else? Should, what should I be asking you questions about these? The only other thing I'll, I'll put into consideration is two things. One, if you're going to be getting a machine like this, or yeah. even the other two, they do come with apps. I mean, you can actually make your coffee from your bed. Oh, so before you get out of bed, you could actually Does turn the machine, machine on. Bring it to you in bed. No, you need oh, a. Spouse need a for person that. Yeah. Spouse. Um, but then the other part too is that you need to think about the footprint. This is a big machine. If you live in an apartment, you've only got a small amount of bench space. This may be a problem. Something like that might be the right fit for you. Because but it's got good show-off value. Amazing show-off value. People will be impressed by your, you know, panache by showing up with that. But otherwise, something like that is usually enough. Even on your desk at work, having something like that is fantastic as well. You could have a line out your door. You would, and you People could actually have customers. up in the morning to get coffee from you. You guys need one of these in the kitchen here. I don't know, hey. who, I don't know who I need to talk to, but this is the kind of what Just you need. Just leave that one. <laughs> no one right. will notice. All right, is that, have we got a coffee there? It's just bringing out a second shot now, so... I love a double espresso. I figured you guys would too. It's the right thing to keep you energized. I haven't right drunk now. coffee yeah. since Come here. You can check out Jeff's uh, podcast. Do don't want to miss it uh, for your weekly update. It's called <laughs> Technology on